Okay, I'm going to do a division now by uh, a double digit number, uh, 843 divided by 13. Now, more difficult with a double digit number because I don't actually know the times table uh, of, of 13. I don't know that off by heart. So to make life easier for myself, I can start to write down the 13 times table down the side here. So 1 times 13 is 13. Uh, double that up, so 2 13s is 26. And I can keep adding on 13 each time. I have to be careful, okay, so that I'm actually uh, adding on the correct number. But I can add so many times uh, 13 and, until, I, until I get the full times table. Now I'm actually going to make a start because I don't, might not need the full times table when I'm doing my dividing. So the first thing I'm going to say is 13 into 8. Well uh, that, that doesn't go so I'm going to go straight across now and start with 13 into 84. Now my times table will tell me that I can make uh, 84 quite a, few, uh, quite a few 13s. So let's have a look. Let's keep adding until I get up to 84. Uh, another 13 onto this is 60. Five. Uh, another 13 on again is 78 and if I add another 13 on again I get 91 which has gone beyond 84 so how many 13s are there in 84 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 13s are 78 if I write that down but I have to work out my remainder now, I can do a little subtraction. If I wanted to, I could write 78 underneath and work out the remainder, but, but I can work that out in my head. Uh, 78 up to 84 is, is remainder 6, so I'll, I'll put my remainder 6 there. The next thing I'm going to say then is 13 into 63. Again, I can consult my times table down the side. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 is too many, so it's 4 times. Okay, So there are 4 13s in 63. But there is a remainder, so I need to work out what the remainder is from uh, 63, take away 52. Again, I could do a subtraction here, uh, but I can actually work out that the remainder is 11. I can write the remainder 11 here if I want to, or leave it as a fraction, 11, and because I'm dividing by 13, 11 thirteenths.